Hey you guys. Okay. I am actually going to show you all how I make my AT blocks here. Yeah. And you know your packaging that you get, your little cardboard that comes in your um, packages and stuff like this. Um, this is actually a long sheet like this. And I'll take one of these and I'll measure it. And I'll take an X-Acto knife and I'll cut it down to size and then I'll actually do one of these numbers. I'm going to show you how to make these because I am going to actually make, and I love using this glue because it holds very well. And I just take this glue and put it on here. I know when I do stuff on on the screen, it never looks right. But yeah, and then I just make the block, okay? Now to get a finished look like this, I actually take these and I put them on the outside. Mind you, my blocks are three by four. I got them a size three by four. And the reason I'm doing this is because this makes really cute gifts for people. They could either set them up, I'll show you a few, or they can attach them to other things. Let me show you some that I've made. Um, prior to now, I may have given them all away. Okay, wait. Here's one right here with the Tim Holtz kind of thing. Yeah, that's one right there. Um, you can make the blocks. You can also make the cubes. If you hold on for one second. You can also make the cubes and they look like this so you can shabby chic them or you can leave them um, with the cubes. I just, this is a Tilda one and I just use all of her little stuff. You can use anything you want. I made Julie Nutting ones. I even made, um, let's see, I think I have a Julie Nutting one that I did. Hmm. Um, a while back. Some that I haven't even finished yet. But I'll show you the Julie Nutting one that I did a few years ago. So, oops, hold on for a second. This is one right here. And this is also a block. And, um, yeah, so you could pretty much do anything that you want with them. You could decorate them the one they want. I want to make a few. I want to make one for my grandson and my granddaughter. Um, for these little shoes. And someone asked me how to put these. This is the AliExpress die. And someone asked me how I put these together. And I'll have to show you that when I show you the rest of this video because I'll probably do this portion of it show you how to put the blocks together as you can see I glued this piece on both sides let me do that on both sides of this super super easy and to help it square itself I actually use these blocks that I've cut off, these to square it. I'll sit it down like this. It's pretty easy because these are the size that I want it to be. And then I'll come over here and I'll actually measure that part right there. Measure that. And I've got to make sure I'm in focus. And I'll Trace the line there, and then I just take it, and I cut it. 
And I have to make sure I don't cut my fingernails off. This is when I start looking down and I miss my fingernails. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, what happened? Yeah, because I'll just cut them off. So then I'll just attach that to that part, holding it down so that it will actually end up being um, even. Yeah, I'm going to actually put it together so you can see what I do. And then when I make the shoe, the shoe is not, that die is not easy to put together. But for all of you that's waiting for me to show you how I put my shoe together, I am still actually working with that shoe to perfect it. Yeah, it did take a little bit of time to put it together. Okay, so you put that on that side and then I'll come back and I'll trim it down I'll put piece on here on all four sides and you will end up with something like this okay that's what it end up looking like well to pretty up and I got a bunch of them ready to go because I'm gonna make quite a few of these I think they would make the perfect gifts to send to people about this time they make cute little ornaments too because you can actually put a string on the top of this it's not heavy and attach it to your um, attach it to your your what's the name of it um, your Christmas tree yeah or Christmas tree now the other thing that I do to clean that up is I'll take strips and I'm going to sit here and cut a few strips of this. Um, let's see, this is 11. So, yeah, I'm going to take one inch strips and I'll show you in a minute. Let me cut them first. I should have had this done prior to this. Yeah, I'm going to just cut about four of them. Okay. I take, and because these are craft, you can pretty much, I guess, use any, um, size that you want. But I'll take one inch, one inch strips, like this, and I'll score them. Okay, these are one and a half, so, <laughs> don't shoot me. Yeah, and I'll score them either way. down the middle and I'll take these strips and I'll fold them let me do two right now this is exactly I think these are one and a half so but I usually use one inch strips and just fold them okay and this is to clean it up so it doesn't matter that they're um, a little bigger and you actually I'll just take them and I'm gonna cut this down to that size and I'm gonna kind of catty corny catty corner the edges and I'm going to put this all around this block. And that will, yeah, that is going to clean up the edges for you. And you do that to the whole block. Yes, like that. And you do end up with something like this and you paint all your edges and once you put your paper on you know your decorative paper you only see the edges and you end up with something like this because you take the paper to put it on each of your blocks yeah so that is how I actually make the blocks. I'm going to go ahead and make all of these blocks. That's how you make them. And then later on, I'll come back and I'll show you how to put that shoe together. 
and then I'll decorate the box and I'm going to put stuff on it like this right here with the little porcelain or clay teapots and stuff that you use in these little excuse me and these little bottle caps yeah I love making those so yes that's what I'll be doing I drop one of them on the floor down here and I need to find it before I step on it okay so yes that's how to make these blocks they're real easy to make you can make cubes with them using this same um yeah this same method right here or technique I'll just take it and, and cut it like a three by three and put them together and, and you'll need three to make a cube yes you only need two to make a um, a block and as you can see my stuff come in different sizes this one is smaller than this one as you can see this one is an AT block. This is a little bigger size. It's just a little thicker. And I want to do them this size because I want these little shoes to actually sit on the top of this. And like I said, I'll have to come back and show you how to put those shoes together. They are, I have two different shoes as I showed you. One of them is like this and I thought it was a little boy's shoe but once I put it together I guess because it's a baby shoe it could be a boy or girl shoe but it has a tongue and this one doesn't. Yeah so and they're two different dies and um, yeah this one looks like this because I have it right sitting right here and it has this tongue. The other one doesn't it just have decorative edges all the way around it. Yeah so. All right, you guys, I hope you're following along with me. I hope that explains um, how to make these blocks or cubes. And I'll come back later with another video. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.